Wow, I sure love scrolling through DeviantArt. People are so talented. Oh wow, it's Peace Calling. Siriu, Siriu, I got an idea. Oh, okay, what is it? Well, I want to make you, um, to make a whole like plans on me through with a thing. Oh. You know, like through, contain like 25 questions. And uh, it varies in difficulty and like, uh, it invite, invite people, like five YouTubers or something, just so we have content. Oh, that, that sure sounds like a nice project for us. So, uh, can you help me with, uh, you know, gathering stuff? Nope, 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 you're on your own, okay, thanks, bye! Wait, just, 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 just... He left. Again. Mother Greetings everyone and welcome to the first, and probably last, PVZ trivia quiz. We got 5 different PVZ content creators that I'm going to ask questions from all corners of the franchise, and we're going to see which one knows the most about this series of games. I came up with 25 different questions that will surely put them, and also you the viewer, to the test of knowledge. I will give 4 possible choices to pick from. One correct response equals one point for a maximum of 25. If you didn't realize, you can also play this with us if you want to. Just wait for me to finish asking the question, pause the video, pick your answer, resume the video, wait for me to say which one is correct and calculate your score. This sure will be a fun time. And if you want to see more, and oh boy, I sure want to make more, how about you like the video, would ya? It helps with the algorithm and it would mean the word to me. Can we start? Have I forgotten anything? Oh yeah, I'm Silvio by the way, and <laughs> I will be your host today. I'm in Speed4P's editor and I will try my best to do a great job. Why not let this P himself host it? I'm gonna be honest, I don't trust this P to record 5 perspectives and not mess it up somehow, so I took responsibility instead. I need a race. With that out of the way, let's meet today's contestants. To have an idea, can you like present yourself to the audience? Hi everyone, I am the famous PVZ2 plant mod Beflourish guy. I, 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 I'm terrible at introductions, hi. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm Redhead Gaming. I uh, do a whole bunch of PVZ content, mainly news and stuff, uh, sort of discussions and those types of things. Predominantly, I started uh, my PVZ career, let's say. Um, in Battle for Neighborville, obviously we knew how that went, but yeah, so uh, the channel sort of uh, explores more of the sort of fan games and like a whole bunch of, a whole range of PVC games. So yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Shy Guy Mask. I'm 22 year old, and I make text commentary gaming content on various games including Plants vs Zombies. Hello everybody, uh, it's me, it's P4P, and I run a YouTube channel called P4P. Uh, you might have noticed that you are currently watching a video in an P4P channel. Go figure. Okay, so, my name is Jack, but on YouTube I am known as Explode Apple, and I was a content creator, I still am, for uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I used to play Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 1, 2, and Battle for Neighborville very frequently back in the day. And even to this day, I still play the original Plants vs. Zombies for the Xbox 360. Glad to have you. Do you have a settled amount of points you want to score? Yeah, getting 15 would be, uh, would be just barely enough for me. I don't know. Everything is acceptable to me. Probably half, at least. But I just know, I just feel like I've got to get as many right as I can, or else I'm going to get some very angry comments. People, how can you be a PVC YouTuber but not know all these questions? Probably like at least 19. You think that's acceptable, I suppose? <laughs> there is no such thing as unacceptable. You set your own bars. First question. It's an easy one. Let's start with the easy questions. Out of all the PVC games, which ones are available on Steam? A. Only PVC one. B. PVZ1 and BFN, C, PVZ1 and Garden Warfare 2, or D, PVZ1 and all the shooters. Would it, would it, would it, would it sound bad at, to say that I actually don't know this? God, I think... I, I, I didn't think this is going to be such a uh, big video. I know, right, I, it's not something, it's not something I would have checked. I, I think it's... It's... B. All I know is that BFN is also on PC, so Steam is a safe assumption I haven't heard or seen of GW on PC. B, PVZ1 and BFN. For sure, Plumber Zombie 1 is on there, that's definite. But the shooters? I don't think so, like, I try, I try searching for Plumber Zombie on stream and they don't show up, and if none of them show up, I don't think any will show up. So I what? mean, defense on Switch, but I don't know about, I'm just gonna say A. I, I think the correct answer is 
The first Plants vs. Zombies, and Battle for Neighborville. Garden Warfare 1 and 2 are only available on Origin. B. And it's correct. <laughs> yes! Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, your answer is actually wrong. Yay! Wow, this is off to a good start, huh? It was B. PvZ1 and BFN. I... I won. Wow, okay. The next one is another simple question. Who is the singer of the very well-known song Zombie on the Lawn? Is A. Laura Sigahura B. Laura Shigihara C. Crystal QVA or D. Zexcot Games That D though Well now I know what you mean by tricky questions Is it A? It's obviously A or B But Oh my god is it... B again <laughs> Definitely know the first name is Laura. If memory is correct. Uh, is Laura Sh uh, Shigihara, I think. I think, just because of how it looks, I'm going with B. As you may know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a big main series fan, and you know, if it's a main series, I doubt I'll get anything wrong here. So it's B. Good guess, but uh, it's actually B. Yeah, bruh. Yeah. I wish it was Zack Scott Games, that would've- uh, that would be knows. hilarious. And do you actually know for a fun fact, who, uh, Crystal QVA, who she is? Nah. She's the cover. Ah, okay. So, before PvZ2 was a thing, there was an official PvZ game on Facebook. What was the game's name? A. PvZ Origins, B. PvZ Adventures, C. PvZ Online, or D. PvZ and the Land of Doom? B. Uh, again, mate, I'm, I'm not I'm not even gonna waste my time here, so go for B. I know of said game's existence, but I don't remember the name fully. I just know it's B or C. My final answer is C. But what, not PVC Adventures? There was another one. Ah, so it's your final, okay. I'm gonna give you that one. <laughs> oh. I don't know why, I thought, PV, I thought, I thought PVC Adventures came out yeah. after PVC, I don't know why I think that, okay. <laughs> ah, so, so I can just, uh, move. It's A, PVZ Origins. Oh, okay. Okay, B final answer. Yes. Yeah, Why are they all B? <laughs> you better hope they're not all B. Time to change them up a bit. Okay, give me a second now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you might think it's B, you might not think it's B. Mm, who knows? In PVZ1, there are 9 plants you can purchase from Crazy Dave in the shop. Which is the most expensive one, coins wise? It's A, Winter Melon. B cop cannon, C imitator, or D cattail. Ah, um, it may be B. You're trying to trick. Me. <laughs> I don't think it's cattail. I don't think it's imitator. I'm gonna go with just because I think I want to go with B because of how powerful cop cannon is. I, my answer is cop cannon. Another one I don't know by heart, but I have a feeling it's C. I pick C. <laughs> I'm going to say that it is actually a winter melon because I hate winter melon. So you're saying that winter melon costs more coins than a cop cannon, for example? Yes, uh, he 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 murdered my wife. Uh, sad to hear that. Yeah, it's terrible. Okay, keep keep, I, was... keep the old story for another video. <laughs> yeah, winter is. 10k, cop is 20k, imitator is 30k, and cattail is 10k, so it's C, imitator. That's correct. So, sorry to mention, but this is incorrect. Oh no, was it B? No, it was C, imitator. <laughs> oh, imitator. Oh, there you go. The first wrong answer. It's gonna just be downhill from here. I still feel better, there's there more to come. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> This one, I think it's current trivia by now. It's it's no longer something that people are not, are not familiar with, but just to get it out of the way. Which one of these four plans was meant to be added as a future playable character in BFN? A. Jalapeno, B. Torchwood, C. Iceberg Lettuce, or D. Bong Choi? Iceberg Lettuce. I have not a single clue, so I'll just pick semi-randomly. D. Oh, uh, I'm... I'm 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 glad for this one. That I I I used I used to be in a uh, modding server and they dug it up. I usually don't care about the shooter series or the modding size, but oh boy, I I glad I look it up for once. Um, it's iceberg lettuce. The answer will be iceberg lettuce, which is C. C. Okay, I know your thing.
Bomb chair would surely be incredible, but uh, this picture exists. I thought it was in the game and playable. Fun fact, we actually don't really know if it's called Iceberg Lettuce. It's either Iceberg Lettuce or uh, Ice Bloom. But a point is a point. Now, one for uh, that might trick us, the new players. New players? Yeah. Stuff happened. PVZ2... <laughs> <laughs> PVZ2 has power-ups that you can use with in-game coins. Which one... Okay. Which one is the most expensive? <laughs> A. Power Snow B. Power Toss C. Power Zap Or D. Power Flame Power Flame The best answer I guess is Power... Oh, maybe Power Toss. I think it's that, it's that one thing that um, you use to like uh, swipe to push the zombies back. Yes, yeah, it's Power Toss. Was Power Flame a late addition? Was that like, did they add that later on? Power was Power Flame, Flame the power up that you can use that replaces Power Snow in Frostbite Caves? Well, I feel like in that case, I feel like perhaps Power Flame and Powered Power Snow cost the same. I, out of the ones that I feel like they're like the most useful, I feel like Power Toss is the most useful. Yeah, so uh, perhaps. Hmm. But I don't actually know. I don't actually think it's the most. I'm going to go with B again. I'm going to go with Power Toss, but I... Uh, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. Final answer? B. I don't know, lol. Yeah, it's Power Flame. I'm going to... No, I'm changing it. I'm changing <laughs> to... I'm changing to Power... Power Zap. Because maybe that... Maybe they're on the... Because they're all... I'm sure the order that they're... they're they're in is power, power snow, power toss, and then power zap. So maybe they put them in ex cost order. So let's go. My final answer is power zap. Well, they did put them in cost order, but reverse course. Order. Ah! <laughs> but 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 it's okay because power flame is more expensive than power snow. Oh, is it? Uh, how many hmm. pea shooting type plants exist in PVZ one? So it's a. 6, B, 5, C, 7, or D, 4. Does it, does it include, like, you know, like an upgrade? Mm -hmm. Like, it, do if, they, if, are they... if it has an almanac entry, it counts. Thank God, you're talking about Flowers Me 1. <laughs> you say Flowers Me 2? I would... Hmm, okay, so that's, that's, that's just uh, that counts. It, it was either PVZ 1 or Garden Warfare. <laughs> and I'm glad it has me 1 still. How many are there? Hold on, I'm counting. 5. Final answer. It's B again. Uh. <laughs> yeah, B. That's this awesome. <laughs> well, let's see. There was the normal pea shooter. There was the repeater, ice pea, and the Gatling pea. So if you're talking about the first one, I think there's. Oh, and then there's the three peter. I think five. Okay, so we got pea shooter. We got we got snow pea. We've got repeater, we've got split P, mm -hmm. we've got Gatling P as an upgrade. It oh, counts. three, we've got three Peter. Any more? So far I think you said six. So is six your final answer? Is six my final answer? <laughs> oh, I feel like there's going to be something that like, I feel like there's going to be something that shoots a, that shoots a P but isn't isn't necessarily what we associate with a pea sh like a normal pea shoot. No, I think I'm gonna go with six. I can't think of any more. Um, so obviously pea shooter, snow pea, repeater, night, none. Uh, who you have the repeater, uh, fog, you have split pea, roof, none, and then you have gatling. That would be six. P shooter, snow P repeater, three Peter Gatling P split P. It has to be A. No, not yet, not yet. I have to make sure I don't make stupid points. P shooter, snow P repeater, uh, three Peter, split P, Gatling. Did I forget any? I'm gonna recite all 49 plans. I'm assuming one now. <laughs> oh. But but is backward repeater count? As a separate plan, of, as opposed to just a repeater, you know that thing in. Yeah, that's that's, that's the weirdest freaking question ever. No. Okay, thank God, thank God. Okay, so it's six. Um, I'm just gonna take it. 
I I, I might have forgot it, one. It's I wrong. Yeah, you forgot one. Oh jeez, which one did I forget? I got pea shooter. I got snow pea. I got repeater. I got three peter and I got gatling pea. What what other one is there? Split. I'll split pea. God, <laughs> forget it exists. Everybody forgets it exists. Next one. What's Doctor Edgar Zombo's middle name? It's A Zane, B George, C Victor, or D. He has no middle name. D. But I'm sure this is a trick question, and he has some middle name in some obscure comic book. But I still pick D. It's Dr. Edgar George Zombus. His middle name is George. Zaykin, in the Plants vs. Zombies Garden War for one trailer, he says his full name. So it's B. It's B. Okay, again. <laughs> we're, we're, go <laughs> we're going to make a funny about me to make him be the correct answer every time, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are. I, I might need to change the order just for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's his middle name? George. Oh, before... You're not even going to let me... Okay, okay, take your point. <laughs> dude! Dude, I wrote dialogues for authors. I have never heard of that, and I would have assumed it's a joke answer, because no way they would name Zombus after the series creator. I knew there was a little more to his name, but none of the three names ringed a bell. And those were the easy questions. You, you did well, Yay. you missed only one, the first one. Going to the medium questions. The medium Ooh, question. And the first one, everybody hates me for putting this one. Oh, no. Out of these four plants, which one has more results on DeviantArt? On what? To say that I hate this question from the bottom of my heart, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so, so. sorry. <laughs> What the fuck? A. Cattail, B. Fire pea, C. Doom from, or D. Pop from. Oh god, I mean, people love Cattail, don't they? No, man, it could have been Pop from all things. I mean, if I was thinking with a dirty mind, it would have to be, I think. Remember, DeviantArt, not Rule 34. Well, yeah, but either way, it's very similar. But... <laughs> okay. I think for popularity, I think on there, the top, the two that are most popular, that most people would say, is either Doom Shroom. Or cattail, but I mean, I imagine obviously. Yeah, people should... considering Puffroom. I don't know. Puffroom I mean, is... Puff is a little guy. You can hit him in every picture. That is true. But I mean... the cattail is literally. I want to. I can I say it on? Can I say it on video? It's a furry bait. So you put your that... finger on cat cattail. I mean, most people would. It's your final answer. But though. not yet. Not yet. I have time, right? Yeah. So I, I'm not. I'm not pushing thing. you. I'm just asking. When is your final answer? Just let me know. Let's say the pop shrimp D. That's a very interesting answer. I mean, it's A, obviously, but. <laughs> what is that question? A final what? answer? Yeah. I don't know about fire P. I feel uh, like a specific P well, shooter. I don't fire know. She's a female P shooter. And uh, she's quote unquote hot, so. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you never know. A Cato. It doesn't help me this time. I'm gonna go with. D. Puff Shroom. I'm just gonna go with Kato. I, 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 I'm, I don't wanna think about it anymore. What is that question? Okay, because it's not A. What? Um, it's, it couldn't be 5P. It, no way it is 5P. 5P is too new. So it, it, I'll, it I'll go with Puff. It is 5P. <laughs> Almost twice as cat tail. Because fire peas and guard more fire and fire, yeah. and, and yep. she's female in, in PBZ too. I don't think that's the reason exactly the fact that she's female, but uh, I like her thinking. I mean, that's 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 why I picked Cattail. <laughs> I went off the basis that DeviantArt users are weird. To, to, to be fair, when I searched Cattail, I found 11k results. But then, <laughs> but that's for other yeah, reasons. Yeah, then you the PBZ. <laughs> yeah. See, anything related to Garden Warfare, I feel. It, it, it doesn't exactly mean that. It just is more popular because it is in more games. Yeah, uh, Cattail might be might be fan favorite in something one, but that's only her appearance. Yeah, Doom from has more than Cattail. Doom exists in Garden of Earth. Yeah, it's a potted it, plant. It's a potted plant. Who the hell looks for them? <laughs> Dude, they have, I gonna draw some fan art of that potted plant, bro. Screw Chomper, screw Pea Shooter. Damn, that potted plant looks so cool. So, we went through questions surrounding PvZ1, PvZ2, and the shooters. Le 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 Heroes. Yep. So, next one. You're familiar with the game PvZ Heroes, by any kind? Uh, not really, but I'll, I'll 
uh, ask me the question anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hero abilities in PvZ heroes. Oh no. Got buffed or nerfed a couple of times. Which hero got its ability reworked completely after an update? A Professor Brainstorm, B Nightcap, C Zemek, or D Grass Knuckles? Like the, the main one? The like, main one, not think like Thunderbolt, uh, Backup. Yeah, the, the main one, the one, the one that plays animation, animation when you use yeah. it, yeah? I don't really, I love, I love Professor Brainstorm, don't really play Nightcap or Zemek. Uh, no, I think I think Brainstorms has always been that only because I used to really like Professor Brainstorm when PVZ Heroes originally came out. Then there was Everybody a whole length, did. Of... <laughs> <laughs> a whole length of time. Uh, there was, for, for, and then there was a huge, massive gap where I didn't play the game for ages. I I am really not well versed in heroes, so I don't think it's Professor. I don't think it's Grass Knuckles. Or uh, maybe it is. Her, I don't know. Two damage for every lane. Hmm. And I don't even know Knights have and C mixes. <laughs> no idea. No idea still. I don't I don't really know PvZ heroes. I, I haven't I have never really played that game much, but I do think I remember that Z Mech's ability was reworked. So I'm gonna say C. B. Nightcap I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Professor Brainstorm. Final answer. Well we 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 uh, we doing really great on the medium questions, huh? Might as well just gonna say it now. Uh, I think it's Zemek. I think I want to go with Zemek. Zemek, interesting. It, Final answer. I don't, uh, Final answer. <laughs> okay. How do I put this? <sighs> Sadly, it is correct. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. I just remember PVZH players whining about it. <laughs> oh, really? What ability was it? I have a so, feeling it's the... Is it the one that shoots the rockets? Yup. <gasps> what did it used to do? In the first version, its ability, it hit two damage on three random lanes. Oh. It was basically grass knuckles, but it was three lanes random. Uh, okay. If you check up the credits in PvZ2, you, you ever did that? Oh gosh, probably from a very long time ago. If you do that, a song will pop that has actual lyrics sang by Casper Babypants. What is the name of that song? It's A, Time After Time, B, Back and Forth, C, Zombie Time, or D, Undead in the Past. You ever heard that song? Um, actually, I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, it was Zombie Time. Mate, I can sing the whole song. <laughs> it's a good song, it's just unfortunate that Climbers of the never got proper endings so that this music can be played. So, yeah, yeah. it's Zombie Time. C. Zombie Time IDK. C. Uh, the only one that's calling to me is Zombie Time. That's the only one, but I feel like that feels too obvious. I'm gonna go with C. Zombie Time. Picking random answers seems like a bad strategy, but uh, this time it's correct. I, I'm also very knowledgeable on music, mind you. <laughs> Yay, Zombie Time! <laughs> Oh my god, how have I not... I'm listening. I don't know, the only other reason that I may have been... Zombie time, you've capitalized the second letter, the second uh, word. Uh, the rest. I played myself. I played myself. <laughs> oh. So, this one, this is going to be a question about Garden Warfare 2, who I think you have a... Pretty... You have some experience in it. Yeah, I... I think I, I'm confident with this one. <laughs> not counting Tarchwood, which is the only plant class in Garden Warfare 2 that doesn't have the ability to use the power of another plant. In order to explain this, Cactus has the ability to summon potato mines. Every single plant besides Starchwood and another one cannot use another plant in such an ability. Which one is it? Corn, Rose, Chomper or Citron? Oh wait a minute, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, hold on. I think I have 15 minutes of Garden Fair 1. Woo! Those are I enough. must know. So first of all, I have to say that I have no idea what uh, any of any of these plants abilities. So, Cuddle Core, does he summon something? Could it be like... <laughs> well, it's not Citron, because he uses E and Peach. Uh, unless that's... Oh, no. Yeah, he has E and Peach, yeah. I, I know this one, it's just... Uh... <laughs> It's just a very vague way of um, 
putting it. I, I don't know, man. If there's a plant I would cut right away, it's, it would be kernel corn because uh, in here, in I don't know if this is a good reason or not, but in Heroes, he's a legend that literally spawns plants. That's Cornotopia. So uh, yeah, I I would I would I would cut a Cit citron. Citron is cool dude. Does he need any friends though? Does he need them? Okay, so my answer is Rose. Yeah, final answer Rose, yeah. I think I can make a strong assumption, even though I have never touched the shooters. C. Chomper. B. Why am I trying? I don't even know all these stuff, I'm just going with Citron. Hmm. Well... Rose does have those crystal mushrooms. Crystal mushrooms? Which she uses in uh, turf. But it's not an ability, so it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> hey. And when I saw the other answers, I was like, yeah, that's immediately right. So I hadn't even looked at the other. <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly would have gone for either Rose or Citron. Which Garden Warfare 1 character? B. I, I already did. <laughs> which. <laughs> should I just put B and not read the actual question? No, 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 actually, I, I... So, which Garden Warfare 1 character is an actual enemy in the PvZ3 pre-alpha? It's A, the foot soldier, B, the engineer, C, the scientist, or D, the chemist. I think, well, I never actually, I never had, I never actually played the, uh, the pre-alpha. Never. I I... It was not fun. <laughs> you got worse, it was... you got worse with time. Uh, I think that is, uh, the engineer. You sure? I think so. When in doubt, just pick B. That's the... Hey, this this one I actually be I, I actually am able to. Or am I? I don't think it's the scientist. I don't think it's scientist or chemist. It could be foot soldier, but no. I don't know. Foot I feel soldier like soldier is the most memorable one, isn't it? Yeah, but I think PvZ three used a lot of zombies from other games. Yeah. I would say B, the engineer. No idea. The chemist. Wait, no, that's not. No, not not science is not that engineer. Engine. Yeah, it's it's the engineer. He he drives the drones and. What's this between foot soldier? I feel like it's engineer from images I can vaguely. I think it's. I think it's engineer. There are there are actually two engineers. It was B. You were right all along. Uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I didn't play enough to get to that that guy. Neither cause... did I, but I saw it in one Zexot thumbnail, so... <laughs> yeah. Zombie on the Lone has one official version in another language. What's that language? It's A. Chinese, B. Japanese, C. French, or D. Spanish. Chinese? Quick to answer. Maybe mm. you're familiar with that? I don't know, it's, it's either Chinese or French. It's a fine Chinese or Spanish. Because I know no PVZ French. has quite. C'est la vous, no. la zombie. <laughs> C'est vous, zombie, sur la. <laughs> Did PVZ1 get released slash translated in Chinese or Japanese first? I don't know, but uh, the version doesn't have to do at all with the order of the translation, since it's still sang by Laura. If I recall correctly, it was Japanese. PVZ1 is very popular in China, and there has been many China exclusives games or variations when it comes to PVZ, so it has to be Chinese. I'm gonna go with D Spanish. The singer's name is Laura Shikihara. It's B. B. Okay, for fuck's sake. You can give me a. See, my, my game for Spanish was like, I know there's a lot, you know, PVZ has quite a lot of uh, following in terms of, I know there's a lot of the Spanish speaking uh, YouTubers, so that was, that was why I was going with that, and I thought, perhaps. I thought Laura was Chinese. I do remember that, like, very well. Can you sing it for us? I don't speak Japanese, and I don't <laughs> know any words in it, so... So, uh, according to the PVZ1 Almanac entries, Almanac entries. Have you ever bothered to read them? Yes, I've I've read them. Okay, according to those, which plant can't read? Ah, screw you. <laughs> A. Torchwood, B. Tall nut, C. Squash, or D. Fume fruit. Well, I do remember um, specific one saying that uh, both the Cobb Cannon went to Harvard, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> um, 
I clearly remember the almanac mentioning a plant that can't read, but for some reasons none of these guys ring a bell. It's not a toner because I remember a toner's almanac fondly. Okay, so I play too much Plumber's Me too, and, and I, I know... You, you, you I think know. of the Tracy one, do you? Yeah, the Tracy. But the first one, no idea. Touchwood? Touchwood could have read, but I'm not too sure. Fume? Is it, isn't it Fume who goes on... Okay, I, I might I may have swapped into another plan, or I may have swapped into Plumber's uh, Me I mean, too. to be fair, Fume from sleeps during the day, so... Does he have time to read? Like, does he have life? Mate, I... This is probably a complete guess. Now, if I'm guessing what makes sense, maybe Torchwood can't read because he's on fire. But if he tried to read, he would just burn the books. I mean, maybe <laughs> some, somebody can, can keep the book for him? Maybe. Torchwood is an old guy. Maybe he was not always on fire? Maybe. Like what, Talnut can't can, can look down at the book? Can't... Uh... Mm -hmm. They don't have hands! They don't have hands, no. They'd have to get a plant that, that had hands. Bong Choi. Then, yeah. Bong Choi, there you go. They cares. There's some. It would probably be... Maybe Torchwood. I want to say Torchwood. You have a reasoning for it? Because I know Talnut's entry mentions uh, that he's Walnut's brother. And Fumestrom's <laughs> entry does not mention anything like that. I, I'm not too knowledgeable on the entries because it's, it's also been ages since I played PvZ1. Fair. But I think also some other things is, why would he be able to read? He's a stump. He is burning on fire. He's a plant. He would burn books. <laughs> He's a plant would... in the first place. It... Why should plant a read? Like, wow. That they have magical powers. Fair okay, enough. my final answer is A. I just know it's not Tall Nut, and it's unlikely to be Fume Shroom. I don't even remember the entries for Squash or Torchwood at all. My best guess would be Torchwood, so I pick Torchwood. So like I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's the right one, but I, re I recall a plan, uh, a, a mushroom plan, have a moment of like uh, social medias and stuff. Tall Nut cut, Fume Shroom cut, Torch and Torchwood. Like they look old. Maybe they they they, they want to read. They, they lose. Maybe they lose the ability to read with time. Now, mate, let's go with A. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going with C. I'm doing the good old what? just pick C. <laughs> well, then don't pick C. Well, T. this time pick C didn't work for you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> his almanac entry says that he's respected by every single plant for his capability to lighting speeds on fire. But he has a secret that doesn't let the people know. He can't read. If you manage to get the max rank in PvZ Garden Offer 1, What's your reward when starting Garden Offer 2? It's A, 100k coins, B, a special hat, C, a special character variant, or D, nothing. <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, go ahead and post it so I can see what it is. You give me a second, I need to re, to re put the, like, so it's not B every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, it's not actually B. Yeah, Th thank you so much for this question, mate. It's not like Zach Scott back when the game was out, like, made, he was in the first three videos. Watch him. Awesome. I, I really couldn't. He's I, I really couldn't. Daddy. Care. <laughs> Man, I re I, I'm sorry, alright, but I, I literally couldn't care less about the shooters. I, I know I know people were gonna be like, oh my god, it's P, how dare you? If this ever get into the video, but. Yeah, PBZ, I, how dare you? I have 200 hours in the. Hey, I, I play possibly for the haha <laughs> plan shoot zombie stuff, not first person shooting. Uh. I didn't know that. I didn't know about it. Uh, I think it could be a special hat. C. C, a special character variant. That would be Unicorn Chopper. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go with C, I guess. A special character variant. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's an exclusive one from the map. Do you think giving us an exclusive character would be fun for an entire community? Just for pe just just to not be able to get them. Because... Didn't play the, the, the first one. Hmm? C. Special character variant. Oh, wow, well, you know. Yeah, yes, that's correct. No, I just had a good gut guess. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, it's EA. I knew all this stuff. Oh! This monstrosity is a gift in Garden Warfare 2 for Garden Warfare 1 veterans. Dear God, and I thought the Tiger Cheetah's skin was bad. Oh, so that's why it appears in so many. so many thumbnails and stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's why.
this fella oh was that was what it was <gasps> yeah oh that's what that was so oh, those were the medium questions the medium question <laughs> and now we're going into silvio i hate you territory <laughs> so let's move on to more challenging questions you know uh, oh boy hard ones nine of them so mm. se seven years ago you were born back then right probably uh, i i am i am i am young okay baby boy so uh <laughs> <laughs> seven years ago on the official plants vs zombies youtube channel there were some videos where a lead designer and a producer showcased the word updates called dev diaries which dev diary currently has the most views i'm waiting for the final name show. it's a dark ages part one B. Lost City Part 1 C. Modern Day Part 1 or D. Big Wave Beach Part 1 I'm not even pretending to be mad at something, it's just, it's just, this is lame As lame as the first question in the medium section I, I mean, you know, you know the answer then? No Then shut the fuck up I'm gonna go with Modern Day, I thought if you would, if you put the um Oh, this, oh god, what's it called? What's it? Mega Mix Mix The Mix Tape Mixtape one, I thought it'd have been that. But I'm gonna go with modern day part one. Because it's back to basics? Yeah, and I think people were like, yay! <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime, Dark Ages has the shrooms. Oh. Wave Beach has Lily Pad water. Lost no. is there. This one's a bit tough. Uh, we're going going to the hard questions. Um. Wait, which word do you think would, would bring more I viewers? mean, obvious, I mean, obviously, modern day is gonna be pretty hype. Lost City, no one remembers it. Dark Ages is the first world to get a Death Diary also. Yeah. Because Farm 2 didn't have one. D. Why do you think it would be Big Red Beach? Because I remember seeing it constantly in PVZ's, uh, thing. C. Modern Day Part 1. I'm going... I am going to, uh, answer with... Probably Dark Ages. I'm gonna... Oh no, did Modern Day even have a dev diary? Ooh! The man's thinking! Ooh! <laughs> if it's been up the longest, and if it was one of the first ones, they tend to have more. I'm going with Dark Ages part one. So Dark Ages? Yeah. Your answer is wrong. Fine, fair. What, what would be your second pick? I mean, as I said, Morning is pretty high, but it could be Big by Beach, I guess. It's Lost City. Mate. <laughs> Mate. This, this could be real. I'm looking that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both have 1.3 million views, but Lost City, when the time I checked it up at least, had 1.376 million, while Dark Ages had 1.345 million. You, you said you're not familiar with the PvZ heroes, but this question doesn't re regard the gameplay in any way. Okay. So, uh... PvZ heroes! <laughs> oh no! PvZ heroes, before being left to rot by PopCap, had multiple official hero concept art. Which one of these plants was meant to get a hero form? Cactus, Squash, Iceberg Lettuce, or Tangle Kill? In other words, so, what, what what do you think would be the sickest hero? <laughs> like, one of this one. I, okay, sickest hero. Um, probably Tangle Kel. I think it's Tangle Kel, but I think perhaps they're thinking of doing a... a, a uh, I think they may have thought of doing a more, like, uh, God's sake, like amphibious. Like yeah, and amphibious themes because they've got Neptune if the zombies. Oh, maybe. Oh, Counterfront. Hmm. Okay, I have a feeling it's D. Tangle Kel, brother. I would, I would definitely for, go for Cactus because he's a, he's the only plant. Not, I know, I know, I don't know, but one of the big, one of the, one of, one of, one of, one of the plants in Garden of Warfare didn't turn into heroes. I mean, yeah, corn, corn as well. Yeah, but what do I, what do I say? I don't even play shooters. Uh, but like this, this needs extensive lookup. Uh, you need to, you need to. It's a hard question. Fair. Ay, ay, yikes! It's, if it's Tangle Kelp, I'll be mad. I'll go for A. 
so it's cactus. Yeah. So what is your final answer? I'd say cactus. I'm gonna go with Tangle Kelp. I have seen Tangle Kelp concept art, but there is a character who's called the Submarine something. D. How the fuck do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> because people posted the concept art before. I, I saw it and I thought it was really cool. Yeah. The design is actually pretty memorized into my head. Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> it was right. Not yeah. even gonna... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even be mad, but it looks good. An aquatic hero. It would be the, it would be the only one too. If that's the yeah. case. Damn. You probably know who George Fett is, right? I do indeed. But have you ever thought what's his favorite plant? Oh, I have not. So it's A the pea shooter, B the cattail, C the squash, or D the grave buster. I mean, I'm just so tempted to say cattail, <laughs> but. Uh, I feel like... Everybody loves Captain. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Pea Shooter probably was one of the first plants that they made, so... Yeah, but who? But maybe it's one of those, like, Pea Shooter is, one, is a plant that everybody loves, but it's anyone's favorite? I think I heard him say Great Buster is his favorite, because the design made it convenient to make the effect convincing. I wanna say that's B. I mean, Squash is satisfying. <laughs> maybe it's Squash. You, you never know, everybody has a different re reason to like a plant. Yeah, I know. So I'll, I'm saying I'm, I'm saying the manly way, I'm just gonna say A. I would think... Um, maybe the cattails actually, I remember that. Might have mentioned it. Um, I think, I don't think it's gonna be PC if it's first... I, I don't, I can't imagine it's Grave Buster. Can you, is Grave Buster anybody's favorite plant? I can't imagine Grave Buster's anybody's favorite. But now I'm saying that maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe just maybe he. This is, maybe this is why he left. They they they, they made Grave Buster look different. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not working with yeah. this. Mm -mm. Yeah. You massacred mm -mm. my boy. I'm gonna go with C squash. C squash. C. You you have a reason why you're thinking that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think it. I think it's just because he yeah he's satisfying and he's got I don't know. I right. think I'm gonna go with squash. Final answer. That is sadly correct. Yeah. Yay! You know what the reason? It's a... Yeah, what's his reason? <laughs> Loves the pun. The squash the squashes. Tells what it is, tells <laughs> what it does. Is it actually Grave Buster? No, it's squash. Oh. Huh. Because he loves the pun. Is a squash that squashes. Okay. A few months ago, PvZ3 got a new test version that has only eight plants. You're familiar with that? Yeah, I played some of that. Which of these four plants didn't make it in the game here? It's A, the potato mine, B, the tangle kelp, C, chili bean, or D, squash. I would say it would be tangle kelp. C, chili bean. It is potato mine. A. If you don't care about the game, you would, you would absolutely fall for this. But I did. So... Yeah, um, squash, absolutely, tango cow, absolutely, shield bean, for one level, I think, it's potato mine. Yeah. Bruh. You know, just because you had to do a bit of research for that video, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what is 21? Is it 9 plus 10? <sighs> <laughs> when Primal Sunflower was first added into PvZ2, there was a big bug regarding her that got quickly fixed. What's the bug? A. She was able to produce sun too fast. B. Her plant hood ability gave normal sunflower suns. C. If too many produce sun at the same time, it would crash the game. Or D. She was not banned in less stands. I remember this one. I know exactly what this is. See, I feel like A and B, th that I could see those mistakes, those easy mistakes. Can, but can, can the fact B? that... Can you see maybe D? I don't... Maybe D. Like, I'm gonna get... Like, broken will be to be, like, in the last stand level and having a sunflower? Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, that you can place like 15 at the same time. Yeah. And then... D. It would make B. A. Seems like a balance issue, and not a bug B. Seems the a realistic option, but doesn't fit the quickly fixed description. Normal players wouldn't assume it's a big bug at first. C. Makes no sense, and has no real reason to happen. 
D. Seems like an oversight so obvious it can't possibly happen. D. I think B. Her plant food ability gave normal sunflower suns instead of the big ones. The problem with this question is that you're calling the A slash pop cap stupid and incompetent, and it's impossible to understand stupid people. So if you don't know the answer it's a 50 over 50 between C and D not to mention big bug can refer to bug that has big impact in the difficulty and gamma play of the game, or bug that has big impact in the functionality and playability of the game as I said, C, seems to nonsensical to happen. So my only bet is D, a dumb oversight, where it's obvious EA wouldn't want people to get free progress. D. Wow, that, wow, that is correct. Very well done. It's D. Ah. It's a mistake they still do. They still do it. Dude, uh, uh, again, if you if you don't bother, they'll be hard. But which one makes the most sense? Years. It, 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 it's still you can think about it. Which one makes the most sense? Yeah. Years and years and years of playing. In Garden Warfare 2, there is a secret room very hidden underground that requires a code. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go grab my randomizers now. You, you, can, you can find your reading questions. In order to get the code besides looking online, what do you have to do? A. Look for buttons around the map. B. Talk to a secret NPC. C. Be the known king three times. Or D. Look at the sky. Yeah, the, it was like underneath, it was like in the sewers. Yeah, close yeah, to the 200 star chests, I think. I don't think it's beat the known king three times. I think I don't think it's look at the sky. I don't. I feel like I'd have. I don't know. Ah, should I should I try? Should I try to think this through? I mean, let's take them through. So you need to you need to find the code, right? Ah. Uh, okay. What sounds more possible? We have to look for buttons around the map. How how would that help solve the code? Uh, I I don't think it'd be A sounds simple for me. Like if people actually like. I don't want to look it up, it's probably something hard or too obscure. So I'm, I'm aiming for C and D for now. It I think requires... it was A. Look, look for buttons around the map. A. IDK lol. D. Yeah, you know what? I I shouldn't care about these. Just... <laughs> Why, do you mean you Why do you mean you should have Why do you mean you should Bring me to the questions that I know of. I'll go with C. <laughs> I'm gonna go with A. Look for buttons around the map. Interesting. You, you think they'll be so sneaky to hit like random buttons around the map? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Well, they were even sneakier because they, oh. uh, they, they put them on the sky. They did! Ah. No stars, were constellations. <gasps> you ah. had to go in the middle of the backyard during night looking for the dots, like constellations, and remember where they are. And then you have to go underground where there is a room with a market of the town. And look at the sky oh. in the same place where the constellations were. There were the symbols. Oh wow, that was sneaky. It's been, it's been way too long ago to remember this. What is the most viewed fan-made PVZ song on YouTube? A. The CG5 Zombie on the Lawn remix. B. The Walnut Bowling Trap remix. C. Plant vs Zombies the Musical by Random Encounters. Or D. The PVZ Garden Warfare 2 rap by JT Music. You familiar with any of these songs? Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Um, Which one has more views? I think it would ha Jesus. You, you know them all, right? No. <laughs> I don't think it's the Zombie on the Lawn remix. I haven't heard of the other two. You heard I think... the Garden Warfare 2 rap? Uh, no, I don't know if I have, you know. You're a music guy, what? I know. <laughs> Yes, I need. I've got a lot of me. I've got a lot of PVG music to listen to tomorrow. <laughs> D. You're going for the D, huh? The PVG guy off the rap. I think that's probably it. That might be wrong because I'm not familiar with uh, the fan remixes that much. He's quite a popular guy, but I'm I'm conflict between that and A and B because see, I. I mean, let's be honest. Who doesn't know the world not bowling trap? Yeah, right. And that's what I'm conflict about. Like CC5 guys, it's pretty, it's pretty popular. I think. I would say um, the Random Encounters um, um, Plants vs. Zombies musical. C. The musical. What was the last time you heard of the word the musical at the end of a gaming related YouTube video, and it didn't have a ludicrous amount of views? 
Uh, I'm gonna go with the Walnut, no, the, the Walnut Bowling Trap remix. I believe the musical has more views. Like the musical. Oh, it wow. has like as many views as the original Zombie on the Lawn. No way. It's C. Yeah, it has 30 million views. Jesus Christ. I know it has almost as much as Zombie on the Lawn. For fuck's sake. Yeah. It's C. Fair, fair. It's not, it's not, it's not my. It, it, it's by a long shot. It has that wow. video currently has 30 million views. That shocks me because it's the most recent one out of all the four ones. Kiss me. Yeah, it's a, it has 30 million views. Look it up. Kiss me. I I don't know about this. Yeah, he has, he has more. What? Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness! Need to do a news video. <laughs> so you're, you're telling me that more people heard about that that thing that 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 cosplaying video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's beaten the greatest song on earth. See, I, I thought I thought that would be I thought the PVZ GD2 rap would have more because uh, it's older. That, I know. Yeah, it's older. I remember that was released just like not too long ago. And it's about in the web version of PVZ1. There was a black football zombie with the HD of a gargantua. What was his official name? The Berserker Zombie, the Black Football Zombie, the Giga Football Zombie, or the All Star? Just, I'm just thinking a little bit logically about this. Uh, I like that. How? This is hot. I wanna go with Berserker, the Berserker Zombie then. Giga Football Zombie, immediate answer. It's like in Garden Warfare, it was the Berserker. Yeah, that's for sure. But I could under I could probably think it got a, uh, probably was changed, but uh, I could be wrong. I think it is the Giga Football Zombie. That'll be my final answer. The Giga Football Zombie. No, well, obviously, uh, people who are new will definitely never get this because of tourism. Your flood's gone, and Final Zombie One is now free on mobile. Well, back then, you know what? They cost a dollar, yeah. a whole dollar. Imagine. Who 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 would have a hold of for a game? Not me, not me. Seven years ago, it's Giga Football. That's C. Oh, for fuck's sake! You, like you can't give me like content. You, you know, you, you, you have. To, <laughs> I, 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 I'm here for the content, man. Wow, uh, maybe I shouldn't have put this on hard, huh? You shouldn't have all. Don't uh, worry, you can take my. Uh, you can take some things out of context, like my story about my wife. Eh, I I don't know what's the thing with PVZ YouTubers and wives. It's peace all his wife. Oh boy, final question. No, not a single moment of uh, silence for the wife. Okay. I was gonna give you one. <laughs> so final... Uh, don't I, worry, don't worry, she sucked. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> the final question. question. I saved the best for last. Oh. So, uh, according to the dialogues, images, everything that we got in the games, not outside the games, which one of these games happens first. PvZ2, PvZ Garden Warfare, Garden Warfare 2, or PvZ Heroes? Obviously, uh, 2 out of the way. Mm, you're saying the That's Garden Warfare ha happened uh, before 2? I think. I think Garden Warfare might happen even before. I mean, Garden Warfare and PvZ2 came like close to the same, but. Yeah, it's, it's a different story. Well, I mean, I guess you could say technically PVZ2 came first because they went back in back in time. He went back in time to ancient Egypt times. <laughs> so, I mean, Garden Warfare did that too. Like the Garden, uh, the second Garden Warfare. I can't imagine it. if it's PVZ Heroes. Oh, that's really surprising. <laughs> oh boy, this this one's difficult. Cause okay, here let me just recreate the lore timeline. Oh, where's, where's my pen? Oh. Where's my pen? Give me a second. I'll be right back. In the meantime, I would like you to appreciate the fact that uh, this guy actually had a wife and he just he was killed by a man. Let's just appreciate the man for a second for for living without his a fulfilled life, like having still a career, not falling into depression, even though. The thought of his okay, dead wife pen. might be right back to him. Anyway, there is an image that grants us the information that the game happened first. Or there is some dialogue that have says that. There is something in one of these games that, so that you say shows it... some kind of time that happens before others. 
So you, so by first, I mean first yeah, of no, all no, no, this no, four. No, 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 all of this four. Of all this four. Yeah, okay. Of all yeah, of this four. Like PBZ one clearly happened the first one. It's, I could be wrong, but I think the Garden of Fair kind of happened first. Okay. Okay, so the PBZ lore timeline. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're we're not considering PBZ one here, so. I mean, hmm. of course, PBZ1 happens first. If you don't count the time traveling. Oh, come on, Pin! Work! I don't think B is it. That's the thing. I have to recreate the lore timeline. There is a lore timeline? It can't be heroes. Can it be? Can it? Can it? I'm, I'm thinking through this. There really isn't a lot of dialogue. But there are comics. But I don't think that should matter. I would think PBZ2. Because that's when they first introduced uh, Penny. Isn't Penny presented in any other games though? Yes, um, because um, in PVZ Garden Warfare, um, in Ops mode, uh, Crazy Dave has that flying van. Mm-hmm. And uh, PVZ Heroes in Garden Warfare 2, I think like, PVZ Heroes introduces Super Brains, and Super Brains is in Garden Warfare 2. So it has to be PVZ2, Penny, like, because that's when Penny was first introduced. Oh, Plymouth Me 2 could happen, like, could it be Plymouth 1, Plymouth Me 2, then Garden Warfare, but like... I'm going to say something. Like, in PVZ2, you remember the dialogue at the beginning, when basically mm-hmm. they introduced Penny. Mm-hmm. You think of that. Oh, that... So... Oh no, that, that's, that's here, that's here, P in Garden Warfare, oh no. So, uh... Did Penny, like, th- there's, maybe there is something in God of Warfare that says Penny was built. I have no idea and the answers seem likely to be GW or GW2. I guess I'll go with GW1, because last time I saw that game the characters didn't vary a lot from PVZ1 and the world still looked apocalyptic. Unlike PVZ2 and Heroes. And I doubt GW2 is some prequel story. Okay, PVZ H is not part of the timeline. There's no such way that PVZ Heroes is part of the timeline. So it doesn't count. It's, it doesn't count. Okay, so so D's out of the way. D's out of the way. Okay, GW2 goes to BFN. That that's obvious. And GW1 connects to Garden Warfare 2. Ingate. PVZ PVZ H doesn't exist. It doesn't count. It's not real. It's it is. It's a free store. No, it doesn't. It's not real. It doesn't exist. PBZ, I, I will argue that exists. until the day I die. Uh, I would go with my guts now, so it's gonna be Garden Warfare. One? One. If two happen... Oh, hold on. Why do you have to specify? <laughs> is, there, is there a chance that two happen first? It's a prequel or a sequel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a big video on YouTube now. Garden, is Garden Warfare 2 a prequel or a sequel? May I... PVZ1 doesn't count, because it's not in this question. PVZ2 obviously comes from... P- it's it's A. Final answer. It, it has to be. You think PVZ2 happened before Garden Warfare? But, yeah, because how, how would... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's actually B. Why? Um... You're, you're just going to pop up PVZ heroes? Like... Yeah. I suppose BBC heroes could be like they like they, because like they're like static zombies. They don't they can't really move. They could be like experiments of like. Wasn't the PVZ heroes lore that uh, Zombo, Doctor Zombos made a robot that was meant to buff his zombies, transform them into heroes, and transform and he actually transformed uh, plants as well into heroes? Oh uh, yeah. Would that happen before PVC two? I don't think so. I don't. Like we know, maybe that will help that. He transformed a zombie into super brains, and now he's in Garden Warfare. Yeah. It's not like if you look it up online, you're going to, f- to, to see anything, so... First of all, if you look up where? PVC timeline? Mm-hmm. Because somebody did it. Mm-hmm. Clearly. Okay. Fair. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with my cards. I'm gonna say Garden Warfare 1. Final answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, all these questions was just one point, there's like... I've, I've made too much. So it's it has to be Garden Warfare 1. Garden Warfare 1 is the one that happens first. Final answer. I'm gonna go win. Because it Draw doesn't make any sense. 
I'm going with the PVC Heroes. PVC Heroes final answer. PVC Heroes final answer. I freaking love you. You got it right. Yes! No, 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 no. Take a look so at what this, is it? this picture. Bring me the picture. You, you want it? Oh, wow. They, oh, wow. They are, they are building Penny. You, you learn something new every day. Your answer was PVC 2. No, it was Heroes. How? Heroes well, is obviously Heroes is like unconnected to everything. Heroes obviously I'm sure comes about that. from. I'm sure about that because of one simple yeah. basis. It's obviously because <laughs> Garfair Two has promotional cosmetics for the PVZH characters, but so... they're actually not. So they were only available once the game released, and they're not full classes in Garfair Two. So that implies that Heroes is just a comic book series in PVZ's universe. Okay. I, but... I, I, I am I am very well updated on PVZ lore. I make the PVZ lore. <laughs> Whatever get, I say is true, you, you uh, get, unfortunately. You, you get the half half of the point just because you intimidate me. <laughs> I this is how I don't get women. I explain the PVZ lore to them every time and then well, they just suddenly hate me. <laughs> uh, so, so, so your wife was on kill, huh? Yeah, she doesn't she didn't actually die. I just explained to her how Wintermelon is actually the most powerful plant in the PvZ lore, and um, she left me. That implies that Heroes just came before PvZ 2, which is also entirely likely because I'm pretty sure that Heroes was actually being developed alongside PvZ 2. Because I think Heroes concepts dated back to like 2014, which was really early in PvZ 2. There you go! In this comic, uh, they were looking for pieces to build a time machine. Uh, they were looking look for I... a tire for Penny. There's no Penny in the game. Besides in this picture, ah. and Penny always had broken tires. And I think this is pretty much it. Yeah, and I guess you guys want to see the scores now, huh? Well, before that I would like to thank everyone that was involved in this quiz show in one way or another. And not only the participants, even though they were amazing as well. I want to thank Chris MRC and Danny from Arkin Studios for the sprite work. They helped make the video look so much nicer and I couldn't have done it without them. Also, I have to thank Russell Tors, and hope I didn't kill his name, for his amazing jazz music. I keep using it throughout the video without asking permission. <laughs> Please don't sue us. <laughs> and last but not least, I want to thank our special supporters for the constant generosity. So thank you Dr. Zombas, Good Spiral, Mr. Name Games, Nolly Sheep, Team Knowledge, Runeblade09, Demoder, Raditya F, Mr. JT, Trashbox, Bobby Lav, Christmas Boyfriend Gaming, Gavin and and last but not least, Kevin NGW808. You guys are all awesome. Oh yeah, also thank you for watching this thing so far. It's the most ambitious video I did so far and I really hope you guys like it. Now let's actually get to the scores. As you can see, everyone did amazingly and if you beat any of their scores, let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm going to be honest really quick, I suck at outros, so um, I'm going to slowly fade out the screen while my voice is still on and I'm going to say some words that are going to make you feel like the video is ending and thank people and stuff, but I already did that so the screen is just going to fade slowly but surely and the video is now over, bye. Now that you responded to every single question, uh, wh what do you think of the whole thing? Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? Uh, well, yeah, I absolutely enjoyed the ride, the whole ride. Uh, I, I think that some of these questions were very challenging. I'm not good at very specific details like view counts. I, I'm, I'm dumb with numbers. There's a reason I failed math class last year. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I, I I'm passing it now with the ninety. Woo! <laughs> it was okay. DeviantArt question was dumb though. It was an interesting, uh, uh, interesting questions in the quiz that even I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, they were the the questions were a lot more interesting than I thought they were gonna be. I don't know why. I didn't. You know, there's there's some really cool stuff. Like, yeah, some really. Awesome discussion points. Uh, I yeah, they were really interesting, and I I learned some cool new stuff about about PVC as well. 
And that actually is really interesting about if I ever decided to do like a timeline video <laughs> of oh, BBC Heroes. <laughs> great, Craig, you got my idea. That, that was an idea for a video. There you go. Oh, Craig. Do it first. Do it first. You, you can have it. Glad having you. It was a very fun time. Yeah, it was. Hope you had fun. The questions are pretty great and interesting. Yeah, I have to say, even though I can't answer like almost half of them. Well. What would you like to say to the audience watching this? Subscribe is P4P. Ah, final thoughts to the audience. Hello, audience. <laughs> um, no, I think Hello. this has been really, really fun. I think I, I think I did a lot, but I'm glad that it was multiple choice hours. I think I'd have done a lot, done a, done a lot worse. But no, it's been really, really cool. I had a great time, and maybe, uh, maybe we could use this as like a, uh, maybe I could do like a PVZ. I said, and maybe you could do like a little, a little cover for it and make it an actual like PVC quiz that other people can. Other people can do. Okay. Um, not, not at this time. Well, one guy just promoted himself. Well, yeah, but uh, I, I already said before I'm exploring yeah. Apple, and I already said <laughs> the content. Creator. You are you already promoted yourself, uh, so. Uh... Uh, like I, I I mean at this point, if I said it again, it would be very redundant. Okay, I'm going to say it for you. Subscribe to this fellow over here. Okay. I think at this at this moment, I am close to fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's make it happen, guys. What? Every plant in PVZ eventually died, from zombies, natural disasters, and old age. Each one of them, lying on the ground, whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more PVZ videos. Unfortunately, I have to advertise my mod, everyone. Please download the plants for- So this is for today's video, guys, we hope you like-